Hey everyone, this is Kelly from Goddess Power Tarot. So this is your love, daily love message for all signs, for anyone listening. I'm not even trying to break it down into signs. Just for whomever is drawn to listen, this is your message. Okay, so this is going to be for Wednesday, February 27th through the 28th. Okay, and I've already got the cards pulled. Just give me a second to shuffle here. And so cards are falling out. So we're going to hold on to that. All right. So let's take a look here. So this is the obstacle for the person that you are currently dealing with. Okay, they have the two of wands. So this person is, um, the obstacle is they're having trouble making a decision about what they want to do, which direction. Sorry, hope there was no interference about what they want to do, which direction they want to go. Um, it's about partnership. So this person, I do feel, is trying to figure out what is the best decision, the best choice about this partnership. So if you're not in connection with someone, um, they're mulling things over, I feel. Um, their obstacle is they can't make a decision just yet. They're not sure what they want to do, what to do. Um, they're thinking about you. They're thinking about the partnership, but they just are not sure what to do. Now the obstacle here for you, um, the four of wands, you want some type of commitment, connection, possible marriage, um, a reconciliation of the marriage or a reconciliation um, to bring this relationship together. You've got someone here who's not sure about the connection, not sure about your relationship. Okay. Um, and even if this is someone that you're not in a relationship, it could be that there is someone who is maybe you're dating or someone that you're going to meet who's not sure about what they want, who's not sure about partnership, and you are. Um, but this poses as an obstacle for you because you might be needing it too much, okay, in the sense that you may feel that if you don't have a significant other or you don't have a relationship or you know a label of some sort then uh, you feel at a loss okay and uh, it may have been a while that you haven't been connecting with someone okay so I feel you have to take a look um, at this obstacle there could also be an element where some of you are already in a relationship, you're already married, and this other person that there's an attraction to may not be too sure about connecting with you, okay? They're not too sure if they want to take that that step, okay? Um, whatever it could be, they may be contemplating if maybe they should cheat, maybe they shouldn't, okay? Um, contemplating whether they should approach you, and you also feeling you know it's like you want them to but not if they're not sure and I don't mean you know I mean it could, yeah I do mean that it could go either way depending on your situation so what this person right now is overlooking is uh, the judgment card um, this person is overlooking how they may be perceived to stay in this connected relationship or to um, connect with you. They're overlooking the truth about this. They're not seeing the big picture is what I feel. And that is why this person is having trouble making a decision or um, about the partnership or the connection. Not that they're having trouble. It's just that they're in decision mode right now so they're not committing to anything and they're having difficulty um, they're overlooking the fact that they just need to communicate and be open and honest with you now the real issue that's going on here what is the real issue the empress someone is connected to someone that already has a child um, There could be a Libra involved in this situation. You could be a Libra. Um, 
you could already be, if you're female, you could already have, uh, be with baby. Um, the real issue also, if it's not connected to pregnancy, uh, there could, you know, there could be, um, oh, this just came to me. There could be, um, a female, like a daughter who, um, is giving birth or is pregnant. Uh, she could be an influence in this situation. She could just simply be a mother and not be pregnant. This could have something to do. The real issue is motherhood. Um, you could be a mother. You could have a daughter that's connected to you who um, needs your attention, your time and attention at this time. Uh, gosh, so many crazy messages. So this is going to sound weird, but I have to put it out there because this is what I do here. Um, if you're female, and I'm not predicting this, I'm just saying if that resonates for you, then you can let me know. But if you're female, um, um, I hate to say this because it just, it's harsh, but it just keeps coming to me. The person, if you're female, the person that you're connected to, um, this is so unorthodox. I know it's like, get to it already. The person you're connected to may have been, or may be involved with a family member of yours or a, a daughter or a sister. And again, I'm not predicting this. So if you're just like, get this jaw dropping thing, like, oh my gosh, he's, he knows my, don't do that because I'm, this is only for those who are going to comment and say, yep, that's exactly what's going on. I don't want you to comment and say, are you telling me that, you know, <laughs> my boyfriend is having trouble making a decision because he's in love with my daughter? I mean, it sounds like a soap opera and I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, I am saying this, but I'm not saying it as a predictive, um, message okay so if that's not 100 percent happening for you right now then don't go down that road because then you're just gonna fill the gaps and create stories in your head and that's not healthy okay that is just a very small message for very few of you um and i just when it hits me strongly i just have to say what what i'm what's coming now apart from that this person has a lot of respect for you and uh, they respect you as a mother. They respect you as a parent. They respect you as, um, they respect the fact that, that you want something new with them, something good, healthy, but they are just not sure. And again, as I was saying, they're overlooking the fact that they need to be open and honest in communication with you. Now the solution to this situation is back off from this relationship or this connection right now. This person needs to figure out what they want, what they're doing, where they're going, um, what the energy is. You know, they have to come, they have to come to you. And so the solution is for both of you to back off from each other, take a break, step back. The nine of wands is, you know, I, it's the wounded warrior card, so to speak, but it's also, um, it's the soldier who's been to the battlefield. The soldier has been to the war. They have fought and they, you know, that they're coming back from war. They're taking a break. It's the boxer in the ring in between bouts, you know, in between rounds and just goes and sits back and gets refreshed. You need to take a step back. They need to take, take a step back to figure out what is, the next step. What's the next plan of action? What's the next uh, game plan to do next? Now, the card that fell out. Oh my gosh, look at this. You saw when I was shuffling how this fell out. It says, it's important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of playing, instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. Isn't that interesting how that came out like that? I'm sorry you can't really see it. Um, so yeah, definitely this is the advice.
for this love situation or this uh, daily love situation that's happening. Um, give it a break right now. This person's undecided. You can't do anything about that. Give it a break. They need to come to the, their conclusions on their own. Step back. Pull your energy up. Give them space. Let them figure it out on their own. And you know, either they're going to come back and say, all right, let's move forward. Or they're going to say, no, let's not. And then at that point, you've already given yourself some space and you can figure out to what you want to do. And if they, if, they, if they say, yeah, hey, great. If they say no, okay, no problem. Take care. Good luck moving forward. You still have everything else, all of your options ahead of you and everything else going on in life. So even if you have nothing going on and you're sitting home watching Netflix, you know, hey, that's something. <laughs> or maybe you need to get busy, whichever. Um, but I definitely feel like that's your advice. Take a step back and give all that love or whatever you have within you to give to someone else. Give it to yourself for now. Well, you should be doing that every day anyway, um, whether somebody's with you or not. Um, so yeah, those are your daily love messages again. And I'm going to try to, I'm not sure, I might just do a weekend one coming up next. Okay, so many blessings to you all. I will see you guys soon. All right, take care. Bye.